Vegas Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. Let me let my fourteen. Alright, let's get into it, guys. So, in the last episode, we finally beat the Shizu quite a couple times. Uh, in between episodes, I did look up, uh, you know, kind of, uh, which, uh, which cards we want to, uh, open, because it's a new day, so we're gonna head to the shop. Uh, so yeah. Uh, also, now that we've beaten a Shizu three times, we are looking for the character here on the left. Yami Bakura, yeah. So, that's just, uh, what we need to do. We need to find him at night, so... Which means, well, I, I don't know if you need to find him exactly, or we need to find, like, a just regular Bakura Knight, you know, and he'll transform, shall we say. Uh, but yeah. Um, so yeah, there are a couple of packs, cards we want. I actually want some cards for my machine uh, deck, and it turns out one of them's in here. Magician Souls. Uh, yeah, we're just going to open, like, five each of the packs we want. Uh, out of here, we're looking for, uh, <laughs> limiter removal, actually. Uh, limiter spark doesn't hurt either. I think I only have two of it, so... Um, but yeah, we're actually looking for, uh, I'm looking for cards for my, like, alphabet soup deck. That's what I like to call it. But it's the, uh, XYZ, you know, dragon cannon deck, basically. Uh, I don't think V and W are in this game, so... Uh, and I guess if we don't get any of the cards we want... <laughs> I guess we can reset, and I'll just, uh, I'll do some duels. We can save our Kaiba Kabor points. Uh, yeah, so far away, we are just whiffing. Not getting any rare cards or anything, so, yeah, if we absolute, you know, and I encourage you to do the same, you know, save scum, you know. Because <laughs> cards are hard to get in this game, so, and so our Kaiba core points. Uh, Dark Magician Girl, yeah, I might need that for, like, one or two decks I'm thinking of, but... Yeah, anyway. Let's see, it's, it's 37, okay. How are you guys doing today? Big Shield Garden, uh huh? Yeah, today is uh, May the 21st, 2023. I'll open like one more of this, but uh, yeah, this isn't looking too promising on early on here, I'll be honest. Oh, well. Uh, remember what I said about saves coming? Yeah, we're not doing that anymore. Premature Burial. Very good card. We didn't have this yet. Yep, a hunter. Select a monster from the grave. Special summon it in attack position and equip it with this card. Yep, when this card is destroyed, destroy the equipped monster. Uh, yeah. Very good card. Okay, I guess we're not safe scumming. Uh, we also only have like two X Head Cannon and uh, we have like nine White Dragon Hand, but we only have two X Head Cannon and, um,. Goozy metal tank. So, if I see either of the pieces, that would be good. But I guess we are saving this though, because premature burial. There's some uh, pretty funny stuff I can do with that. Oh, and we get the blue eyes white dragon. This legendary dragon is a powerful engine of destruction, virtually invincible. Very few have faced this awesome creature and lived the tale of the tale. Nice. Oh, and we 100% of that. <laughs> Blue Eyes was the last card we needed out of there, that's funny. Well, I guess we'll save this then. Since we did 100% it, so. Alright, Miss Polymerization. This would be incredibly funny to see someone play this in Yu-Gi-Oh! GX against Jaden. <laughs> uh, Alright. Maybe I'll open, like, after this pack, I'll open, like, one more? Well, there's Y Dragon. Okay, there's a Z Metal Tank. Good. I think X-Head Cannon's like a basic rare out of here, so uh, we'll open up like one more. But we did get another Z-Metal tank, so that's good. And we did complete this 100%. Uh, plus we got Premature Burial. Oh yeah, I also want uh, three of each of the fusions as well, so that's good. I don't think we had, I think we only had one XY, so. Alright, that'll do it for our, our pack mine there. And we'll head out of here. Uh, not the cards we wanted, but... Premature Burial can be used in every deck, so that's honestly pretty good. The fact that it's so good, I'm gonna head back to the house here and save. Yeah. Because Premature Burial is good. Alright. And let me just double check what deck I have queued up for today. I think I have the early duelist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I actually queued up a F I N I E L message, final message, the fight, the Destiny board deck. So, okay, but uh, um, in the walkthrough I read, uh, Bakura or you know Yummy Bakura, they can only be found late at night. So you know, we'll just do some regular duels in this episode, and uh, yeah, it may take us a couple episodes to get tonight, but that's fine. We'll just duel in the meantime. Oh, we got everybody here. We got Taya, Yugi, Grandpa. Okay, we'll just do some early morning duels here, and, you know. I think I'll stay in this half of the city as well. Uh, that way we don't really risk running into Rebecca, you know. Uh, I... We haven't dueled Mako in a while, but we also haven't dueled regular Yugi in a while, so... Yeah, let's just duel him, I guess. I think he provides the more, most experience out of these people anyway. I want to be as strong as the Pharaoh, so the only way I'll get better is to keep practicing. Will you duel me? Well, yeah, buddy. That's what we're here for. We're here to duel Magnet Power, huh? Alright, we'll be going first, looks like, so... Hopefully we'll draw a Destiny board first turn. Alright. Uh, no. Okay. Although we did get, uh, this. So, Graceful Charity. One, two, three. Uh, discard two, huh? Oh, uh, we'll get rid of one capsule. <laughs> Do I really want a card destruction for it? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Um, uh, let's get rid of another capsule, actually. Yeah, you know, that is what this deck's all about, so I'll try for it. Card destruction. Uh, oh, well, we got it. Wow. Okay. Well, we'll set Destiny board. And yeah, what did Yugi get rid of here? That's some good stuff. Oh, Graceful Charity, Magic Cylinder, yeah. Okie dokie, um, let's just, uh, let's set Night Assail at turn one, because why not? Alright, Yugi, I end my turn. Alright. Ooh, is he gonna get the spell counter combo? No, okay. He just attacked right into my Night Assailant. And I'm gonna wait for his end phase, make sure I don't miss the prompts. And we will start using Destiny Board. Nice. Looks like it was a good idea to include uh, card destruction. And what was nice about that card destruction is I'm pretty sure I didn't discard any of the spirit message letters either. Oh, no face down, Yugi? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I didn't get rid of any messages either. No, I did not. That is awesome. Okay, here we go. Destiny board. All right, and I will switch back to Big B for you guys. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, the main reason I'm, I'm using this deck is because um, I'm pretty sure I remember that there being like some kind of pretty big bonus uh, for winning through the Destiny board. So, And of course we do have the alternate strategy. We have Burn here, so uh, we'll set Stealth Bird and uh, yeah, time, clock, timer's on you, Yugi. So, oops, in the turn. Yuki does have, I'm pretty sure he has like Dust Tornado though or something, so. Beta. I summon Beta, the Magma Warrior. Did he just end this turn without attacking? Huh. Usually the AI is a little more aggressive than that in this game. I'm quite shocked, Yuki. Um, well, I, I mean, I guess I'll do this in the meantime. Burn him with Stealth Burn? Yeah, why didn't the AI attack there? That's really weird, yeah. Okay, and I'll use its effect to flip it back face down, I guess. Um, what else can we do? Let's just set Sinister Serpent. I mean, I, I, if he's not going to do anything, then, you know, I'm, I'm not going to do anything, you know? <laughs> it's just an easy win, man. Oh, now he's attacking. Did he attack Sinister Serpent? He did. Weird. Yeah, I don't know why he didn't attack. Uh, that's weird. Okay, Yugi, okay. <laughs> you just wanna, you wanna give me a homie drop? That's cool, man. Go Destiny Board. Ah, the letter A. <laughs> Next turn, it looks, I'll be able to play the final letter in your news the duel. Oh, nice, Rank Aki Rank plus Sinister Serpent? That's a pretty good combo in this deck. Uh, we're just gonna, he has two monsters now. I guess we'll set Ancient Lamp and end the turn. I didn't even flip Stealth Bird, but, you know. Alpha! Okay. Um, I guess I will use Ancient Lamp's effect here. 
Uh, yeah. Attack your own beta, you instead. <laughs> nice. Yeah, Ancient Lamp's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Alright, yeah, and you can destroy my Ancient Lamp, but, uh, Yugi, buddy, I, I I don't know how to tell you this, but you lost. You, you just lost the game. Yep. Uh, okay, yeah, that's, that's nice. You can recover your Magna Warriors. He does have all three, I just noticed, though. Pretty interesting, but, uh, nope, no Valkyrie in a day. And let's give Yugi the ill, oh yeah. And let's see all the letters. <laughs> nice. And we win, guys. Just like that. Yeah, that, that worked out pretty well. We got Destiny Board first turn. Yep. Oh, yeah. You get 100 for the Destiny Board finish bonus. Yeah. Yeah, like I said uh, a few episodes ago, I don't know how good that would work on the later game people, but... Um, no pressure. Would you trade your Celtic Guardian for my Chimera, the Flying Mythical Beast? Uh, sure. I mean... I don't know how many copies of Celtic Guardian we had there, but, um, yeah, sure, buddy, sure. Uh, that sounds like a good trade for us, so why not? Okay, let's see who else is available here. Taya, okay. Um, maybe we'll duel Taya. Maybe we'll duel Mokuba, too. We haven't dueled either of them in a while. Uh, who's over here? Who art thou? Where art thou? Oh, it's just you. Yeah, that makes sense. We did the one kind of close to the north there. Uh, who's down here? Mako. Okay, so... I guess we'll duel... Yeah, it doesn't really matter. I guess we'll duel Taya. We haven't dueled her in a while, so... Alright, Taya, you're up. Hi, Flood. How's everything? We haven't dueled in a while. It's really hurt my views of our friendship. Want to compete? Uh, sure, yeah. Why not, Taya? Why not? Magic Stage versus F-I-N-A-L Message. Oh, oh, a tie, eh? How about I pick scissors? Okay. And Taya's going first. All right. So we get first turn here. Oh, we did get Cataville Omen and Pot Agreed, which are both are very good. <laughs> yeah, the funny thing is, too, in this duel, uh, you really don't have to worry about your life points since Taya likes to boost you. Moki, Moki! Oh, man. The fearsome Moki, Moki. I guess we'll play Pot of Greed to draw two cards. Mm-hmm. Did we get the message? No. Break, break, break is good, though. I mean, I guess I'll attack this. I mean, honestly, I, I actually want to just... Uh, I mean, I will attack it, but I actually want to set Cataville Ulm in there, but, uh... I guess we'll put out Giant Germ before we draw any of the other copies, though. That that seems like the smart idea. Wabaku. Oh, okay. That's not really surprising, coming from Taya. Alright, alright, you did save your Moki. Um, I guess I will thin the deck. Last time I played this card, it actually kind of slowed down the frame rate of the game, so let's hope it doesn't do that. Uh, let's just take Messenger of Peace here. I don't want to take a Destiny War piece in case she can somehow uh, seal it away, so... <laughs> I forgot I have Karibo with this deck, too. That's funny. Aw, right. oh, man, she can't even out my Giant Germ. Okay, so she's going to gain some life points here. No, nah, I don't want to chain. I guess it's asking me for Raigeki Break, yeah? Okay. I draw La Jin. That's good. Alright, I don't even think we need Legend right now, though. I'll set this to search for Destiny Board, because that's obviously how we want to win. You know, that's more kind of core points, which means more packs, which means I can show you guys, you know, more fun things, so... Alright. Moki, Moki. <laughs> Man, that duel with uh, GX versus uh, <laughs> Jaden versus, uh, you know, the little Belowski, that duel was a trip, I tell you. <laughs> that duel was uh, something else. D-Spell, wow, yeah, okay, I forgot Taya has this, but luckily we removed uh, Messenger of Peace and not a Destiny Board piece, so, yeah, Taya can out Destiny Board, that is pretty funny. I'm pretty sure she also has, like, two copies of, uh, 
of uh, let's play Cat here. I'm pretty sure she has two copies of Dispel in her deck too, which is pretty hilarious. Okay, so let's uh, uh, play what? Oh no, I don't want to chain right again. Okay. So yeah, let's add Destiny Board to the top. There we go. And you know what? Just in case she has the other Dispel, I will play Swords here just to see what she's working with. Oh, Skill Angel and Petite Moth. Okay. And so hopefully if she plays Dispel, she goes after Swords, you know, which would make sense. Okay, both of my monsters can take those out. And since we have Swords, let's just start using uh, Stealth Bird here. Yeah. Okay. Nope, don't want to play Red Gate. Break. Um, Cat Attack this. <laughs> Funny. My cat can have actually beat it. See ya, Skill Angel. Uh-huh. Okay. Bird. Attack this. Nope. Don't chain anything. Okay. Giant Germ. Direct attack. Yeah, I do like that the fallback of this deck is burn. You know, in case you don't see Destiny Four, that's actually, actually, it seems to, it, I think it's gonna work pretty good in this deck. All right, burn down. Okay, Taya, I end my turn. Let's see what you've got. Red Archery Girl. That's actually a decent monster. Oh, we're right, but you can't attack due to my, uh, <laughs> due to my swords. I'm actually going to Regeki break whatever she said here. So I don't think we need Karibo. So let's get rid of this card. Solemn Wishes! Hey, that was a good decision. Very good decision. I mean, her, her life points don't really matter since we're going for Destiny Board. But I mean, you know, alternate win conditions, you know. Stealth Bird, go. Alright, and we'll play the other Stealth Bird because why not? <laughs> Should I throw Giant Germ into her girl just to thin the deck? I'm kind of tempted to, honestly. I'm actually very tempted to do so. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Just just to thin my deck by two cards. <laughs> there you go, Taya. You beat one of my monsters. All on your own. All on your own. Good job. All right, and we'll use Giant Germ as effect here. Kaboom. And Special Summon. And Special Summon. There we go. All right, Taya, I end my turn. And I'll keep the big screen up until I activate Destiny Board here. Okay, we haven't seen the other Dispel out of her, so that's good. It's a good sign. Okay, and Swords will disappear on its own. That's why I like Swords. Alright, Destiny Board, let the games begin. Alright. Ah, now I'll show you another letter. Wait, until your demise, Tia. The letter I. I rather like that word. I. Okay, last will, not bad. Um, I guess I'll attack her face down, but first, let's flip these good old birds up. Okay, bird number one. Bird number two. There we go. Two self birds and swords is actually a really good combo in this game. Okay, bird down. I've always liked using stealth bird. It's a very fun card to use. Yeah. All right. And I guess uh, giant germ will have you attack, buddy. Germ attack this card. What is it? Magician of Faith. Oh, that'll let her get dispelled back. Hmm. Or any other spell she wants. Mmm, yeah. Okay. I'm actually very, very interested to see what the AI will pick here. If they'll pick Spirit Message I or Swords. I'm actually very, very curious. So, let's end the turn she, see what she does. Okay, Taya. Is she going to out Destiny Board? She did! Wow. I'm genuinely impressed, Taya. I am genuinely that... That was the correct move, I think. Swords are now gone. Okay, okay, Taya, I see you, I see you. Uh, let's just flip the birds. Uh-huh. Okay, and I think I'll use Foolish Burial here, so we'll go max view. Bird down. 
Okay, flip the other bird. Uh-huh. Yep. Well, good thing we have our alternate strategy online here. We've got plenty of burn damage going, so we'll switch the germs to defense. And I'll send a Sinister Serpent to the graveyard just in case. <laughs> it's pretty funny that Taya outed our Destiny board, but uh, Yugi did not. Eh, maybe he just, you know... Hey, Yugi, try believing in the heart of the cards. Yeah, maybe he should have done that. Auxilio Hero. <laughs> oh, okay. Alright, so Taya's gonna take down three of our monsters here. Cat is down. Okay. And she attacked a germ, no surprise. But that's just 500 extra burn, Taya. Hmm. Plus, you freeing up my zones will let me summon my Lajin. No target in deck. And she attacked the other germ. Okay. Well, at least her AI, like. Sometimes you can trick the AI in this game, and uh, I'm actually genuinely shocked that she didn't go after our face downs. Like, maybe just because you flipped Stealth Bird face down. I thought maybe, oh, the, the AI is like, AI's like, oh, I don't know what that is, but oh, Jinzo, wow, okay. But uh, no, she actually played it pretty smart there. Okay, let's wrap this duel up, folks. Um, let's go with Lajin, the mystical genie of the land. And I think we can get exactly zero here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, we can. Okay, so let's uh, let's do an effect damage finish bonus. So we'll have Legion attack Red Archery Girl. Unless she has Kribo, you know, which wouldn't shock me. Okay, that's 400 damage to you. But that's not all the damage I'm going to do to you this turn. Well, at least we got to show off, like, the alternate combo of this deck. Because, yeah, Stealth Bird, yeah, pretty fun, pretty fun card to use in this deck. I would highly encourage it. Go, Bird, use your special ability. And that's game, Taya, that's game. All right. You win. Exactly zero. All right. Only 73 for that, man. Ouch. That's rough. I knew you were tough, but not this tough. Uh, whatever you say, Ted. Okay, I think we have enough for one more duel, but uh, just in case we don't, boys and girls, let's save some states. Let's save to state one. Just in case I don't have enough uh, time on my phone. There's Yugi. Okay. Yugi boy. Um, who else is out here? Oh, someone we don't know? What? In this part of the city? It's hard to believe. Oh, it's Rex. Okay, okay, okay. That actually makes a little more sense. I'm surprised. Yeah, I haven't registered you yet. And a lot of people. Go, red eyes. I mean, the semi-finals of the last tournament. I know, Chuck. My raptors will ravage you. <laughs> and it's funny. I actually put Rex in the thumbnail. <laughs> I didn't even mean to... I didn't even play in this, but, you know. Rex is on the uh, <laughs> right side of the thumbnail here, right here. Yeah. Watch out, cause your party's about to be crashed, get red eyes. Yeah, all right. Uh, inch, ooh, good first hand here. We got Dark Necro here. And uh, we've got uh, the Giant Germ combo, so let's just set Giant Germ. And Rex will probably special summon his uh, uh, Geosaurus and stuff. You know how he likes to do. But uh, we'll end the turn. Go ahead, Rex. All right. And I'll keep an eye on my phone here, make sure we don't run out. Two-handed King Rex! And I'll use Ray's Body Heat to boost his attack streak by 300. <laughs> nice. Alright, we get to use Giant Germ right away, which I like. That way we don't have to risk growing into the other ones. Alright. Giant Germ effect, 500 burn. And yes. Special summon. And yes, we will special summon. Nice. Alright, and all I have to do is wait for my other germs to be destroyed, and Dark Necrofear is online. Okay, I draw. Ooh, we're breaking. Oof. Yeah, this is what we don't want to see is a uh, you know hard drawing into the spirit messages. It's not what you want to see in this deck, but you know, it is a uh, an inherent risk, you know, of playing a destiny board, so. Yeah. 
but the extra hundred Kaiba Core points is it's the risk is like worth it, you know. I have to be pot of greed. What does this card do? I don't know, but I'm gonna play it. Oh, another raise body heat. Ooh, scary. Oh, and you played it on the same monster. Okay, so that Rex is up to what 2200 points. Ooh, big mistake, buddy. My ancient lamp will redirect your attack to your own two headed King Rex. So, you'll inflict damage to yourself, Rex. <laughs> no! My Arabi! Sorry, Rex. I didn't do it to you. Mm hmm. Takes down my lamp. I kinda wish you'd go after my giant germs. I actually expected his Arabi to take at least one out, but uh. Alright, Rex. Alright. Sinister Serpent. Quite funny. Um. I guess I'll keep that in my hand for Magic Chamber? Hmm, yeah. I, like I said, I want him to take out my giant germs here, so. Alright, go ahead, Rex. Another two headed King Rex! Alright. Alright, germs are down. At least we do have good magic chamber fodder, though. We have good discard fodder now. And we're slowly doing burn damage. No target in the deck. Alright, and we're at 701. We might be able to get to the store in the recording, but if not, guys, don't worry about it. We'll continue in the next episode. Alright, no target in deck. Alright, guys, and prepare for one of the most iconic... Ooh, Jinzo, wow. Iconic summonings I've ever done in this LP. So, uh... Oh, uh, yeah. So we'll banish... Oh, uh, let me make sure I mean you correctly here. Yeah, so we'll select... I'll select my three giant germ, Rex. Oh yeah, and get ready for an iconic summoning, guys. <laughs> now prepare yourself. I summon Dark Necrophia <laughs> in attack mode. Nice. That's pretty cool. Um, battle phase. I guess I could have went into Jinzo there, but I kind of want to use Dark Necrophia's effect, to be quite honest. Go Dark Necrophia. Attack his two-headed King Rex, and it's quite funny. I, I you know, we got Yami Bakura on the on the left, Rex on the right, <laughs> and I got to you know play the combo. That's actually really cool. Uh, maybe I should card destruction here, honestly. Hmm. I'll think about it. All in my turn. If we break on another spirit message, I actually might do it. Defending, huh? All right, Rex. I draw. Ooh, well. All right, delinquent duo. Let's see what we make you discard, Rex, my friend. Oh, did we get two k rid of two? Yeah, I think we did. Yeah, nice. All right. I guess maybe I'll set Sinister Serpent to bait the AI into like, wow, his third King Rex. Holy crap. Yeah, maybe I'll just set, keep setting Sinister Serpent. To uh, bait the AI to summon stuff in attack mode. Okay. And if I really need to, I can discard Jinzo for Magic Gemmer, I guess. Okay. We've got a plan. We've got a plan. Alright. And he's just gonna attack it. I mean, it's not really. It doesn't really hurt me. Sinister Sherpet will be back next turn because this is pre errata. <laughs> I love this card, pre errata. It's so good. It's so good. Ah, oh, he said one face down. Okay. I was hoping you would summon that in attack mode, Rex. Morphing Jar. Wow. Oh. Well, hmm. I kind of don't want to use Morphing Jar right now. Let's just keep setting. And maybe I should just end my turn. And hopefully he'll flip that monster face up. Nah, let's destroy it. Let's destroy it. Let's take it out. We don't want this guy... Well, then again, if he two tributes for, like, red eyes... Oh, he actually didn't special summon Gigasaurus. Wow. But yeah, if he two tributes for Red Eyes, would that really be so bad? No, because if Red Eyes defeats Dark Necrofear, I can just steal it. Yeah, okay. Maybe next turn I will let him uh, just keep whatever monster he sets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're kind of in a stalemate here, Rex. Hmm. Till I get to uh, my Raigeki break to destroy your two-headed King Rex. All right, he's just passing, so I draw. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I did say I was going to card destruction if I drew another spirit message, so... 
Do I want to save Morphing Jar? No, no, let's just do it. Let's just card destruction here. My goodness, we drew three of the spirit messages. Oh, he did have red eyes, wow. Yep, he had red eyes, and uh, what else in his hand? Sword Arm of Dragon, red eyes! Yeah, he had both, okay. All right, let's just, uh, well, we did send Jinzo, so let's set Call the Haunted. Wow, I have Solemn Judgment in this deck? You know, I mean, to be fair though, I am trying to protect my spirit messages, so. Okay, we'll set the fort here. All right, we got some good trap cards here. I guess I'll put this in defense and in my turn. All right. Mystical Space Typhoon. Wow. Wow, Rex. Buddy, buddy. Oh, well, he's going after Solemn Judgment. That's fine. Buddy. Wow, so even the whole time I was hoping to draw a Destiny board, but even if we had drawn it, he could have just used Mystical Space Typhoon the whole time. That's crazy. That's crazy. And he got Wasteland for his two out of King Rex. Things are going pretty good for Rex right now. Alright. Trying to attack my Spirit Reaper, huh? Well, that's not very helpful to you. Okay. A face down, huh? Alright, and what time are we at here? Okay, guys. It is actually about 7.06. I'm pretty sure... Uh, my phone's about to cut off, so I'm actually just gonna do myself a favor and end the video right here um, Let me save on state two Yeah, state two there we go. All right guys, and then next time we will continue this epic duel against Rex Raptor Let's See if we can beat him. All right. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you guys all the Next time Bye-bye